They say consuming fermented foods is one of the healthiest things that you can do for your GI tract. So then what in the hell is poor tea? Hi, my name is Dr. Anna Toker, and that sounds like a great Tushy Tuesday concept. Poor tea. P-U-E-R-H. What the hell is that? Well, it's fermented tea leaves. So instead of kabucha, where it's tea that is brewed and then fermented, poor tea are tea leaves that are fermented, and then you make a glass of tea. It's a great way to maintain the probiotics and all the micronutrients that fermented foods bring you without kind of that weird taste that fermented foods typically offer. Now, they highly suggest that you wash these leaves in hot water before you brew your actual cup. That gets sort of that fermented taste out of them and, and makes a smooth cup of tea. Let's make this a challenge for all of us today. A glass of pooer tea for the pooers here on Tushy Tuesday. <laughs>